skeletal system. The skeletal system is a framework of bones, cartilages and ligaments which consists of all organs. The bones are different in shape like long bones, flat bones, short bones and irregular bones. Basically, human skeleton is divided into two categories. One, axial skeleton. Two, appendicular skeleton. Now let us discuss about axial skeleton in detail. Axial skeleton. Axial skeleton includes skull, hyoid bones, vertebral column and thoracic cage. Skull. The skull is the framework which supports organs of vision, hearing, smell and taste. The skull is mainly divided into two parts. One, head bones also called as cranial bones. Two, facial bones. There are eight cranial bones and 14 facial bones. Thus, the skull consists of 22 bones. All bones of cranium are flat bones and immovable joints which protects brain. The base of the skull consists of an opening through which medulla oblongata of the brain passes spinal cord. Vertebral column the vertebral column or backbone is S-shaped which consists of 33 vertebrae. The vertebral column is divided into 5 regions. 1. Cervical vertebrae 7. Bones 2. Thoracic vertebrae 12. Bones 3. Lumbar vertebrae 5 bones 4. Sacral vertebrae 5 bones 5. Coccygeal vertebrae 4 bones The 5 sacral bones are fused together as a single bone. The four coccygeal bones are fused together as another single bone. Thus, total vertebrae are 26 in number. Thoracic cavity The thoracic cavity includes three different types of bones. One, sternum. This is single bone present in the front portion of the thoracic cavity. 2. Vertebral column This is long vertebral column or spinal cord which is present in the back portion of the thoracic cavity. 3. Ribs The both sternum and vertebral column are connected on either side with ribs. This is also called as rib cage. Rib cage. Rib cage consists of 12 pairs of ribs. Each rib unites as joint with vertebral column. Ribs are of three types. One. True ribs, 2. False ribs, 3. Floating ribs. True ribs. The first seven ribs of the rib cage are attached directly to sternum, are called as true ribs. False ribs. 
8th, 9th and 10th ribs are called as false ribs. These ribs are not attached directly to sternum and the cartilages of the ribs are attached to the 7th rib. Floating ribs 11th and 12th pair of ribs are called as floating ribs as they are not attached to sternum.